I felt that Michael of the pair was definitely the right character for me to play. Um, it, it wasn't awkward, but I think that was largely due to Showalter who said, I don't want anyone to try and mimic or, you know, we don't need you to mimic Mike's voice or anything like that. I want you to, you know, it's really more important that you bring the heart of the matter that you understand. Jim, I'll start with you. You know, you've brought some incredible and important stories to the screen in recent years. You know, I'm thinking of things like special and the normal heart. So I was just really curious how you came across Michael's story. What made you want to tell it? Yeah, uh, well, Michael had asked me to conduct a QA and a with him when the book was coming out at a, at a Barnes & Noble, and there was no intent to do this. And my husband actually watched me read it and watched me <laughs> sob my way through it and said, do you think it should be a movie? And I said, I don't know. And then he read it and was like, it should be a movie. And, um, and that's what launched it. Um, I, I jumped at the chance because I did connect so deeply to what he'd written, and I was so excited to make, uh, to get to tell this story and be a part of this, uh, a very unique but realistic um, male-male couple. Ben, you know, Kit and Michael's relationship is so special. So I was really curious how you and Jim kind of build the rapport and chemistry necessary to show it on the screen. As soon as uh, we knew that I was doing it, Jim emailed me. What was the email title? Let's start. Let's start. Let's start <laughs> uh, was the subject. Um, and we just started this kind of email, uh, old school pen pal ship, really, a, a back and forth of like all things of just getting to know each other. And really that was because I was going to, we were going to have such limited time before yeah. jumping in on filming. We, I think I was going to arrive and we were filming two days later in, in New York. So we just got to know each other via email about all things, uh, sometimes about the project, but life, our partners, all sorts. And that was really helpful, I think. Yeah, ultimately. Um, and then luckily we just um, got along. Got along. Because, you know, that was that was not a given. It wasn't always a given. And, and I think um, I think that really helped us. It was kind of a, it was a bit of a, ne it, the conversation never stopped from those emails right through to, well, till now. Till, till now. Till now. Till now. We have a WhatsApp <laughs> we're, we, Yeah, we're still talking. <laughs> 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 and uh jim was it always the plan for you to play michael in the film and you know how did you kind of was it awkward like you know knowing him so well and like recent events and bringing him to life i felt that michael of the pair was definitely the right character for me to play um it, it wasn't awkward but i think that was largely due to show walter who said i don't want anyone to try and mimic or you know we don't need you to mimic mike's voice or anything like that i want you to you know, it's really more important that you bring the heart of the matter that you understand that connects to him than it is mm. to do any sort of characterization. That would have been really painful to sit through with him on set every day <laughs> going, do I sound like you? You know, whatever. So, and, and also I have to be honest, Osiella was very um, gracious and, and was quickly aware of the difference between his story and the movie. Um, and so his healthy attitude was very helpful with that. Mm. Awesome. Well, that is my time today. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for this film. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.